Now a while ago I showed you how to measure the water level in your rainwater tank with uh, one of these, a stud finder. Um, today I want to show you another method which is also very low tech and simple to do and it's very accurate as well. It just bases on the fact that water finds its own level. So what I do is I just get a piece of half inch uh, vine, clear vinyl tubing. I put a garden hose attachment on the end of it and I plug that. If you look at my rig here, this is the main tap that is going to my pump and this is just an additional one that I've put on here so that I can gravity put a garden hose on here and gravity water so what we basically do is just put this on the end like that make sure there are no kinks switch that on and that will end up at the tank's water level which is just there so you can mark that put the date and you know exactly where you are and you could leave this rig set up if you wanted to or you could just do it whenever you need it if you leave it set up just make sure at the top of your pipes above the tank because otherwise when your tank's filling up you might get water running out of the top of this pipe and that's about it now to calculate the volume we will need to have the radius of the tank but it's not practical to measure the radius of the tank so I'm measuring the circumference here and then we'll calculate the radius from that I'll show you how to do that in a minute the circumference is 934 centimeters Right, here we have a diagrammatic representation of the tank and I'll just run through the calculations we did to get the volume of the tank. So we measured the circumference which was 934 centimeters. To get the radius um, we used the formula circumference divided by 2 pi um, and that comes to 149 centimeters. The next thing we have to calculate is the area of the base. So uh, we use the formula pi r squared to do that. So uh, pi is approximately 3.14. So we times it by the radius squared. That gives us 69,711 square centimeters. Then to get the volume, we have to multiply the area by the height. So Doing that, we come out with uh, 12,408,558 cubic centimeters. Now, to convert those to liters, there's a thousand cubic centimeters in a liter, so we divide by a thousand. So the full volume of the tank is 12,409 liters uh, above the tap. And so now to put that into perspective again, we can calculate what one centimeter of height means in terms of liters. So we divide the 12,409 total liters by the height, and that gives us about 70 liters per centimeter of height. Now we've got a measure starting from the outlet because you can't use any of the water below this level. But that water below this level is quite important because these uh, polythene tanks are quite light. So if you get a very strong wind and there's nothing holding it down, uh, it can float away in the breeze. So uh, this bit of water here, which is probably about a thousand liters or a ton, is, is there to hold the tank down but it also means that any debris sinks to the bottom and it doesn't get sucked up and uh, go through your pump. Now the first rib on the tank is at 28 centimeters. The second rib is at 63 centimeters. The third rib is at 100 centimeters. The fourth rib is at 136 centimeters. 
and then the top of the tank is 178 centimeters. Now that we know that one centimeter equals about 70 liters, we can then make some marks on the tank. In this case, the tank's got ribs, so we'll just use those as our levels. So the first level is the top of the tap, which is zero. There's no liters there. Then we went up, we got 28 centimeters times that by 70, uh, and that gives us uh, 960 liters for level one. Level two is 70 times 63 centimeters. That gives us 4,410 and then so on and so on and we get to the top and we've got our full amount when the tank's full we've got 12,460 liters above the tap that excludes the little bit at the bottom below the tap and if you found it useful please like and share the video and subscribe to this channel and if you'd like to get our notification of when another video comes on this channel just click the bell next to the subscribe button Thank you.